Uh, my name's Michael Neville. In this video I'm going to deal with more issues in relation to preventing camera lens fungus. I started off the first video on prevent camera lens fungus showing a lens that had fungus on it. This lens is the lens I got repaired, it's the 85 1.4 very hard to see it on the video it does have some slight scrapes on it and that which is a bit unfortunate but doesn't affect the photographs taken with the lens the camera bag should be made of a nylon material as explained on the previous video the camera bag should come with a rain cover if you can afford it certainly buy waterproof camera bags but they are quite expensive best will in the world the bags will become damp from time to time so it's always as well to have a spare camera bag so that you're not using uh, bags that can expose your lens to uh, damp conditions lenses should of course be stored in a dry box using your equipment in wet conditions rain covers <laughs> umbrellas using shelter in order to minimize the risk of damage lenses should be stored with the caps on both the front and the back of the lens as per the instructions but they should only be stored once they're dry important to check the equipment once a week the particularly your lenses make sure that uh, they're not developing any condensation there's no damp in them even if they're properly stored and if you notice any damp if you just hold them up to the window it will uh, dry out the lens fairly quickly uh, the easiest way of cleaning the lens without using water is use one of these uh, lowers Turn the lens upside down and follow that up by using a lens pen which has two ends on a brush end and there's a bit of carbon this end which can be used for fingerprints so there's always if, if you want to use them a good quality lot the best way to protect your lenses from damage is not to use a filter is to use the lens hood filters have their uses but not to protect the lens if you're purchasing second-hand lenses there's a few issues you have to take into account obviously the first issue is you check that the lens actually works and you take a few photographs with it after that you should hold it up to a strong light source such as the window or a strong light and uh, check for damage to the lens a damage could be a scratch to the lens if it's the rear element i wouldn't touch the lens because it will affect the photograph and, and the lens performance generally uh, there could be dust in the lens which shouldn't affect its performance uh, the other issue of course is you'll have to thoroughly check for fungus again you hold it up to a strong light so have a good look at it and you will identify fungus by thoroughly examine the lens that way at the early stage it can be difficult to spot so take your time